In this video, I'm going to show you one of the biggest keys to Henry's really effective defense in the ultimate wild card tournament. Now, if you're uh, wanting to learn more about this defense, it's in the 4 6 playbook where we're going to be talking about the nickel 3 3 cub defense. And you can actually get my entire nickel 3 3 cub defensive ebook if you uh, join the Patreon. The link's going to be in the description for that if you want to check that out. That's where you'll be able to get access to all of my band 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So, uh, again, link is in the description down below. So why was Henry able to have such a good defense? I actually think his defense was by far the best. Um, you could make an argument that Cole Bolts had a really good defense. We're going to uh, potentially do a breakdown on that as well. But I thought that Henry's defense in particular uh, was really, really, really good. And it was because he was doing something. He was kind of zigging where a lot of people were zagging, if you will. He was playing majority man coverage scheme. Most people were playing a majority zone coverage scheme. Two things that he was doing that was really interesting that I wanted to break down. The first is a coverage that I want to talk about. It's a coverage defense out of the 3-3 Cub. I think he was also the only player that was running the 3-3 Cub. Most players were either running the nickel 3-3 or the dollar. Um, so that's also something that he was doing that was a little bit different than what other people were doing. But one of the things that we're going to do to set, to set up this coverage defense, what you want to do is you want to come through here and you just want to basically sub out all your players and then you want to sub them back in, okay? And the reason why is because when you go to do this package, if you don't do that, then it's actually going to mess up your lineup. So as you can see here, I'm just subbing everybody out and then subbing, subbing them back in. And then our audible setup for the 3-3 Cub, we're going to have the Cover 4 Show 2. We're going to have the Mike Blitz 0. And then you can kind of do whatever with these two, honestly. Um, I don't feel like people were really doing one way or the other as far as coverages. One coverage that's actually really interesting is this SS Blitz 0. Uh, but that's a, that's a video for another time. We'll talk about that down the road. Uh, but basically, this is what he was doing. So he's coming out of nickel 3-3. He's got safeties at linebacker. He subs everybody out, then subs them back in. And then what he would do is go to his packages, and he's going to go to safety at nickelback package. Now, I've talked about this before as one of the key pieces, I think, to coverage defense, especially this year uh, for the way coverage should be played in this game. Uh, and so basically he would do that and come out in the nickel 3-3 three, three, Mike Blitz 0, 3-3 three, three, copied audible down. Now, from here, there was really two or three key things he was doing. This first one is we were seeing a press man-to-man. -man. We take these blitzing linebackers, man them up on the running back and the tight end, and then we would have outside thirds for these safeties. Now, the other thing is to shade your coverage uh, underneath. The shade underneath coverage approach was really good for stopping a lot of the popular meta, especially um, any kind of ag catches, anything like that. So... What you'll see here is he's outside third's job is really primarily to, to kind of handle where this coverage is weak. If you know anything about man coverage this year, you probably know that there's a couple of vulnerabilities in man coverage, but really the main vulnerability, especially against shaded down man, is the sideline. So these outside thirds basically would play much better than a traditional, um, trying to think off the top of my head, they just play better than like 30 yard clouds or 30 yard purples. The other thing is you have the shaded down coverage, which is also going to play really good against those shallow crossers, really anything underneath these the shaded down man coverage would play really good against. So you see here, even if the corner route wins, that deep out zone knockout guy is right there. Now, obviously, he's got to actually knock him out, but it's right there, as you can see. OK, so that's a piece of this defense is that right there. Now, there's another piece of this defense that um, we're going to talk about just real quick. Um, Oh, also for verticals. Vertical is a very popular play. You'll notice here that that wheel route is going to be bagged in, in that coverage. Also, the wheel route to the outside is going to be bagged. So you're going to be able to bag a lot of different things. Now, when people would audible from bunch to tight, a couple different things going on here, but basically the simple audible, and if you look at the coverage, we're still everything is still intact, especially if they're running uh, tight slots. So if they would try to run bench or something like that, then you'll see here these outside thirds are going to do a really, really good job at getting out there and actually making a play on these corner routes. It's what made this defense so good. And then if you try to traditional flood, like let's say you try to traditional, um, you know, kind of flood concept where you had a streak, a corner, a flat, right? Maybe something like this, kind of more traditional sale concept. Then what you would notice here is a couple things, but really the main thing 
is that this shaded down coverage, if you watch, this corner out on the left is going to have a really hard time getting open. You'll see right here. Even if he wins, he kind of has a hard time getting open. That's a bang-bang play. The other thing Henry was doing that was interesting was he had a lot of KO abilities. If you're going to be running man coverage, you've got to have KO abilities. But the last piece of this really kind of, I think, found itself in the pressure. Uh, most people, when they run 3-3 Cub, would essentially crash, pinch their line, pinch their linebackers, and they would loop. Um, Henry was doing that. But another thing that he was doing that was really interesting is he would actually spread his line, crash his linebackers, um, or spread his line, crash his line out, and spread linebackers so that they were, like, way outside here. And he got these really glitchy pass rush animations from this and it actually came in really, really well um, in key situations. If you actually watch the games, you'll notice that Henry got pressure in key situations um, that he really needed it against Astro, against a lot of players. Uh, as you see right there, just really fast pressure. Now, another little piece of this is whatever your opponent, and I've talked about this a little bit before, whenever your opponent starts to block a running back, which they have to do to pick the splits up, especially if they're going to run a bunch, then what I recommend is actually only sending four. And what you'll notice is against a block running back, this four-man pressure can be absolutely incredible against, against a, a block six. You can actually get loop pressure with four. But the other thing is, if you send if you send um, if you send five, then what you'll also notice is if they block a running back, they might be able to pick up the blitz. But a lot of times, you see how he pushes him right into the quarterback, and the the pocket collapsed a lot. Um, if you actually watch the games back of Henry defensively, so you pair this really good coverage defense with this really good blitz. And you have one of the best defenses in the game, and it's actually really simple, uh, which is even better. Um, another kind of thing that Henry, I thought, was doing a really good job of is, especially when you would have this situation here, three-man rush, you would have the spread. So essentially, the defensive lineman would be no, uh, double-teamed, and then you would have those guys on the outside going crazy from the shed perspective. So this is just a couple things that Henry was doing that I thought was really interesting and actually just really effective. He would also kind of, as the game went on, he would mix match in with this man coverage, especially if people were kind of becoming, you know, much, you know, very focused on throwing corner routes. Then you would see a mix up in this match coverage, which takes away corner routes. And max coverage actually does a really good job of taking away corner routes from compression. So essentially what you want to do is you run the match coverage to one side to take away the corner routes. But then what you do outside of that is you're going to create essentially a cover three. So as you can see here, we're just creating kind of a base level cover three style defense. But we also know that that outside quarter on the right side is going to be able to take away any kind of flood concept to the right. So now all we've got to do, we got those underneath defenders. We're just lurking in the middle of the field. And you can see how that middle third is really going to help against you know any kind of match bomb. That you might in, that you might encounter. So I thought Henry played the best defense out of anybody uh, by far, and it was interesting to me that he was one of the only ones running main coverage almost every play. And I think that is um, I think that's kind of a big deal going into Madden Bowl as you watch some of these players. So main coverage can cer certainly still be very high level, and if you if you have the right adjustments behind your main coverage and you have the right abilities where you can actually knock the ball out. It just makes all the difference in the world in your coverage defense. And then if you can pair that with a pressure that is really effective that comes home really quickly, um, it's, a, it's about as good of defense as you can play in this year's game. So if you want to learn more about the 3-3 Cub defense, make sure to join my Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including an entire breakdown on the 3-3 Cub defense.